So this is my favourite fight scene in Vikings Season 4 so far. It takes place in Pommyland where Aethel Wolf has to save a fucking queen from a castle. These dickheads in yellow also have the latest deadlock technology on their side. The guard yells for Queen Quintreth to be killed, which does hurt her feelings, but there's no time to talk. She stabs the first bitch in the arm and then takes a moment to re-strategize. Her child is on the bed and is like, yeah, nah, fuck this. Asking nicely for the door to be opened is not an option. So Aethel Wolf goes full ballistic on this smug wanker with the key. But of course the smug wanker is not a complete pussy, so starts to fight back. He lights cracking ribs. Meanwhile, the Queen says, who wants a fucking chair in the face? And although the chair is a handcrafted, one-of-a-kind, unique piece, it does need to be weaponized. Aethel Wolf works on getting the smug wanker to drop his key using his canine tooth, and he's done it! Big wicket! Of course, it means the cunt is super angry angry now and it is a real tough slog at ground level. Zero fucks given about their faces. The queen uses a bed sheet to wrap up the two shielers. This helps her to get a punch in. She takes an elbow to the face but retorts by cracking a skull on the wall. Come on, get to the key. Stay on your feet, dickhead. Come on. Oh, nice spear tackle. Here comes Wolfie. I'll oh, get fucked. Who decided to bring rocks into the equation? Oh, no. I am stressing out now, this is bullshit. Yeah, nah, shut this fuckhead up already. I'm not kidding, the idea of a rock falling on me brain makes me bloody anxious. No, 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 fuck yes! The old switcheroo. Well played, Wolfie, now he's got the bloody key. This Sheila goes after the child, so Quintreth gives her a whack, using the handcrafted one-of-a-kind unique piece chair leg. Oh, but she just can't get the KO. Aether Wolf is working on his cardio. The Queen wins back her chair leg and opens up up a brutal fucking can of Middle Ages whoop ass, but these bloody Sheilas never seem to die. Aethel Wolf has a massive stitch. Fuck. Choking, choking, flailing and choking, jogging, more choking, a super long suspenseful lingering edge of your seat nail biting door shot. Come on, there it is, and you are fucked. Now we look forward to the rubbing together of genitals after such an intense day. And now we crash into me face. That is a fucking perler of an action sequence, that one. It's a good four or five minutes long. I tightened it right up for that video. If you're not into Vikings, check it out. It's good shit. I know a portion of you are the Game of Thrones fans, so, and I know you know that I am as well through comments and conversations. So it was good to create something around Vikings there. Fucking Aethel Wolf. I, I never really liked him, but I mean, he has been through some emotional traumatic shit. And I don't think that's going to stop for him. Um, but yeah, I was really fucking on his side for this sequence. It, it was good stuff. Hey, it's also loot crate time again, folks. I'm not going to do a big unboxing for this one, because I also want to get through a couple of things on the agenda on, uh, on this year's AGM. So just a quick one. Um, I did unbox it because in all honesty I thought it was probably going to be a bit of a shit one this month and I was fucking pleasantly surprised. I will eat humble pie. I thought versus, yeah, I wasn't a big fan of Batman vs Superman so yeah, I don't know. So I went ahead and unboxed it and I gotta tell you it was good shit. We got this fucking, my favourite item is this daredevil beanie which turns into a bloody Punisher beanie fucking reversible. You know you're gonna see me wearing that in future videos. I got this shirt as well, uh, Star Trek. You got Spock, it's like vintage style looking poster. It's very adult. It's very adult, this one. Um, we got Alien, little Alien, I guess that's Alien vs Predator. Uh, and then there is Superman vs Batman in the form of a little wallet there. Um, very adult. Comic book, Harley Quinn, uh, to do with Suicide Squad coming up. So it's actually, it was actually a fucking ripper, this one. Anyway, next month is Quest, and it's going to include Vikings material. So, yeah, if you want to get in on that, the URL is below. LootCrate.com slash AussieManReviews. 10% off if you use the code Aussie Loot. you got Vikings, Harry Potter, uh, fucking Uncharted, the game, and Labyrinth, which is fun. 
Also, uh, I've got one up if you're more of a gamer. I'm only going to do one unboxing a month or mention it kind of once a month in videos. So I might rotate between Loot Crate and one up. Um, but if you're more into gaming merchandise, which I know some of you are big gamers here as well, there's a one up URL below uh, in the video description too. And there's a code for a discount on one up, and that's mostly gaming merchandise. So that option is there. I'm going to have that on the shop on my blog as well. Uh, Facebook has put a fucking shop feature on my Facebook page. I am working on some custom Aussie Man merchandise, which I also want to roll out in a fucking email list uh, eventually. So join me email list. If you do, if you don't do any of this shit, me email list actually means a lot to me because that's that's kind of. Uh, it's going to become a good little form of communication, which I'll, I will start to do monthly. Um, I'm making a lot of fucking videos, a lot of blog posts per month. So at the end of each month, I might pick like my favorite three. And then we've also got kind of new merchandise things, new things that I've put in my shop as well, which I'll mention in there. So join the email list. That link is in the fucking post description as well. I think that's pretty much it on the agenda. Um, Game of Thrones coming up. I will be reviewing it monthly, uh, weekly, sorry, Tuesdays, probably late Monday night earliest, but that requires a lot of fucking Red Bull. Uh, so probably Tuesdays I'll have me Game of Thrones reviews out, and I might consider doing some form of live streaming on Sundays for more thorough Game of Thrones conversations. Don't know what platform I'm going to use for that yet. Looking at a few options, talking to a few places as well. But if that's something you're interested in, because I know Game of Thrones gets put on the sideline a lot for, you know, nine months in the off season, and I just play. I just get to play on my channel and go, this is fun, this is fun, which has been great, and it's broadened the audience right up. And thank you to everyone who's new here as well. Uh, but for the TV film fans, if you want some kind of, maybe I'm just calling it the Sunday show, like a live streaming thing, or we can break shit down more thoroughly, especially Game of Thrones Weekly, uh, let me know your thoughts on that too. Okay, that's everything. That's definitely everything. Have a good weekend, folks, and I will see you soon. Thanks for everything. You're fucking legends. Catch you later. God save the queen.